G'day folks, today is another recipe request. Now, quite a few of you have been asking for a simple fish dish that's easy to prepare and very tasty. So I've come up with a pan fried salmon with a balsamic dressing on a bed of spinach. Now, for those of you that say I never give you anything, this one's for you. So, the first thing that we're going to want to do is to prepare our dressing. I'm making enough for two serves today, so we'll start with our balsamic vinegar. I'm going to go about 60 mils of this. Now I'm going to grab some extra virgin olive oil here, and I'm going to use about 60 mils of that too. We're going to add maybe a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and a nice big teaspoon of honey, like so, yes. Now I'm just going to get a lemon and squeeze in about oh, a third of a lemon's worth of the juice in there, lovely. Grab some sugar, a little pinch, maybe about a half a teaspoon, that's all. Now grab your spoon and basically whisk it all together. Make sure you combine it really well, so it has a nice consistency. Take a look at that, see what I'm talking about? Nice and thick. Give it a little taste. Mmm, now that's some good dressing. Now set that to the side, and now it's time to cook the salmon. Told you it was a simple dish. Now grab yourself a nice sized fry pan, put that onto the stove, and heat it up till it's really, really hot. So while your pan's getting nice and hot, grab your salmon fillets, grab some olive oil, and drizzle the steaks with it. Give it a nice massage, get the oil into the fish. Right, now this fish is nicely coated with olive oil as you can see. You can use a brush if you want to, but we don't worry about such things in my suburban kitchen. Now, grab your salmon, take it over to the stove, and we're ready to cook. So we're looking about three to four minutes of cooking time on the skin side of that salmon. Then we're gonna flip it over and cook it for about another three minutes. Then we're gonna take it off the stove, cover it, and set it aside. Don't forget to give it a little bit of a season while it's cooking as well. A little bit of sea salt and some black pepper. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The skin is really nice and crispy and a lovely golden colour. We're going to take this off the stove. We're going to cover it and leave it for a few minutes while we prepare our spinach. So grab yourself a nice bowl of spinach, chuck it in a colander and give it a really good rinse because spinach has a lot of grit on it and it's the last thing you want when you're having a lovely salmon dish. All right? Right, so the spinach is nicely washed. Grab yourself a pan, chuck it on the stove, about a medium heat, and let the spinach cook in the little bits of water that are still clinging to it. So there you go, our spinach is nicely cooked. See how wilted it's got? Really has shrunk down considerably. Uh, there's a lot of excess moisture in there, so we're gonna throw it back in the colander, drain that moisture out, and then put a little bit more flavour into it. Right, so grab your pan, put it back on the stove, get about a tablespoon or so of butter, and chuck it in there. Right, so let your butter melt, now chuck your spinach back in the pan, and give it a really good season with some sea salt, and some black pepper. And just cook it till it's nice and creamy. Let's give it a bit of a taste. Yeah, exactly. Spinach rules. So that's about it. It's time to serve up the salmon. So there we go. Pan fried salmon with a balsamic dressing on a bed of spinach. Looks pretty tasty, right? 
let's give it a whirl. That's awesome. You know, the thing about a good piece of fish is you should really treat it with respect. And that's what this recipe does. Look, the acidity and the sweetness of the dressing, it just works so well with the fattiness of the salmon. Look, you ask for something tasty and you ask for something simple and this dish delivers on all fronts. Have fun cooking it and I know you're going to have even better fun eating it and I'll see you next week in my suburban kitchen. Cheers folks.